Good morning, everyone. Silas Maya from God First GGK. I just want to do the last word for 2021. 2021 was a rough year. 2021 was tougher than 2020, right? 2021 really taught us what it is to hold on to faith, what it is to really have unshakable faith, what it is to really draw into God's comfort, what it is. Now, it's, it's difficult sometimes if we, you know, if we don't hold on to God. It's difficult when we don't push into God for God to lift us up. You can give all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your heartache, all your broken pieces to God. And you will really just fix it. You will really put your soul, you will really put all your emotions together. He will really, He's a God of restoration. He will restore every piece in your life. Every piece in every area of your life. Every thought. You know, our biggest enemy is our thoughts. It's the what we think about life. The minute we open our eyes, what we think about that day, that is going to prepare your mindset for the day. Now the word clearly says we need to have the mindset of Christ, which is love, which is strength, which is where can I help, which is it is okay, right? God is a God of giving. He's a God of just restoring every area in your life. Now I want to just ask you that we must be like trees planted by the streams of God, right? He says, children of God, lovers of God, really people who connect with the Lord will be like trees flourishing, right? Planted next to living streams, ever flowing streams. That is in Psalm 92, 12. No, that is in Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3, right? Blessed fortunate, prosperous, favored by God is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. In other words, the one who walks in God's ways. Listen to this. Blessed, prosperous, favored. Isn't that where we want to be? Isn't that how we, we really want to be every day? Just want to put this on. Isn't that how we should be? We have to walk in God's ways every day to have this, right? Let His pleasure and His passion remain true to the I Am. Your passion every life that you wake up with, let it be true to God. Let it be true to the true I Am, right? Now, meditating on on his word every day so that you can receive true revelation so that you can receive what god wants you to see so that when you read a verse when you see something god can show you revelation upon revelation upon revelation because that's what's going to grow you in the kingdom that's what's going to make you grow further into god's kingdom and then you will be blessed prosperous and favored by god ne? He will be standing firm like a flourishing tree planted by God's design, deeply rooted by the brooks of bliss bearing fruit in every season of its life. We're going through different seasons in our life. So I want to bless you with this. Every season in your life next year, God will be there. God will make it flourish in His brooks of bliss. That is his blessings, his, his favor, right? I want to really proclaim this over your life. And then it takes us to Psalm 61 verse, uh, Psalm 92 verse 12 and 13. Listen how beautiful this is. This connects with how we are, trees in the river, right? Flourishing trees. Your lovers will flourish like palm trees, each one growing in victory, standing in strength wow if we stand rooted in god 
we will have victory over every tough situation that we go through. God will hold you. He will strengthen you during that situation. Be rooted always in God. That is his promise over you. You've been transplanted into his heavenly courtyard. Isn't that beautiful? You as a child of God, God has put you in his heavenly courtyard. You can experience heaven on earth. You can experience more, more blessings, more favor, more restoration, more healing. When you are rooted in God, when you are rooted in his system, God will give you heaven on earth. Isn't that what we all want? Heaven on earth. Lord's prayer says, let your kingdom come as it is in heaven, so it will be on earth. That is how we need to, what do we need to thrive for? To have heaven on earth. But we need to stop walking in wicked ways. We need to walk in God's ways because the scripture clearly says, those who walk in my ways, those who turn from wicked ways will be like a flourishing tree. Right? I want you to really Today is the last day of 2021. Go write a letter to God today. Go take communion. Write a letter and forgive those that hurt you this year. Forgive those that wasn't true to you this year. Forgive those that really broke you this year. Forgive them. This is an act of love. God's Commandment to us clearly says love no matter what. Love is unconditional. You can't just love when it's summer. You can't just love when it's spring. You need to love when it's autumn and when it's winter. We need to always love. Love is unconditional. If someone treats you bad, give love back. I know it's hard. I know it's hard, but we can be the change in this world by letting God's love shine in our hearts and just being who we are created to be, love, love, human beings filled with love, human beings filled with beautiful words towards each other, not breaking each other down, not holding grudges. So go write that letter to God and give everything to him, give it to him. Give all your hurt to him. Give every unforgiveness in your heart to the Lord today. And let it end with today. Don't take it into next year. Don't take that heavy bag into next year. Tomorrow when you wake up, you will be lifted, child of God. You will have new strength. Because you have forgiven. Forgiveness sets you free. Let's start a new chapter tomorrow, a new chapter of love, a new chapter of here I am God. Because I believe in the true I am, the Lord, the Father in heaven. I just want to end this off. 1 Peter 5 verse 10 says, After a brief suffering, now this year was a suffering year, right? Maybe the last two years was a suffering year. Now hear this blessing over your life. After a brief suffering, God of all loving grace. Yes, God that's filled with love and God that is filled with grace. By grace I am who I am today. Right? Who has called you to share in His eternal glory in Christ. God wants you to walk in His glory. He wants you to walk in His splendor, in His beauty, in His miracles, in His blessings. Right? You were called to walk in His glory. You will personally and powerfully restore you. Can you hear that? He will restore you. The word says personally and powerfully. He will fix every broken area in your life, in your emotions. Personally, 
and he will give you the power to go through every situation. Isn't that beautiful? And he will make you stronger than ever. Let the weak say, I am strong. 2022, I am strong because I have the Lord. I have the Lord. He gives me strength through every situation. Nothing is impossible for God. Just give it to Him. You know, we tend to just hold on to everything because we want to fix it ourselves. No, just give it to God and walk in faith. And let your hope be transformed into faith because hope must be activated by your faith. Give it to God. Stop carrying that heavy baggage. Stop it. Start a new season with God. Make more time for God. Change, God changed my life completely. From depression to I am not enough to such a wonderful life. He can do it the same to you. He can restore every area in your life. He can restore your finances. He can restore your relationship, your marriage. Your business. Give it to God. Give it to God. Do everything to glorify His name. Everything is His. Right? He will set you firmly in a place and build you up. God will show you where to go in next year. He will show you what to do in a firm place so that we are not like just sticks blowing in the air. No, he will root you and he will establish you in your purpose, in your will, in his will for your life, which is to prosper you, to give you a hope and a future, right? He has all the power needed to do this forever. Amen. Amen. Hold on to God this year. Hold on to His promises. Go write down scriptures. Write it on your mirror. Write it in your car. Put on sticky notes so that you meditate on the word day and night so that you can be restored. There are lots of scriptures in the Bible that can lift us up, that can restore you, that can heal you, and that can guide you. And I'm going to end off with Psalm 61 verse 2 that says, Lord, when I feel overwhelmed, guide me into your glory. That is my blessing on you this year. That when you feel overwhelmed, that God will just guide you into his glory. Be blessed, everyone. Have a beautiful last day of the year. And know that tomorrow... It's a new day, a new season for you. And God is going to open golden doors for you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.